Ain't there boys and girls? After a lot of issues on match one, let's pray that match two is not as bad. If you guys missed it, we saw only map one of the 7th region versus Chernobyl X game, which 7th region 3 and Odom, uh, in map one, it was 250 to like 60 something. Um, I know control is 3 and 0, I don't know the, uh, the amount of round difference on search and destroy, but in the end they did 3 and 0, I was not there for the whole thing. So, just would like to state that, as we are clearly, uh, well, sorry, currently trying to fix up all of the sides here. I'm going to go over the rosters really quick while I'm setting this all up for this upcoming game. Okay, so I'm having that all good. Alrighty then. So, for Seattle Sage... We will go and be watching down Tyler, Abyss, Mr. SVG. I'll call you Mr. because that's a lot easier. And I guess Niplov. Do we really want to question his name, guys? I mean, <laughs> but that will be your Seattle Sage roster. As we're going to be watching down Nexus. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm most likely not. I'm seeing a few... Nexus fans here in the chat, which also means that I'm gonna be heavily yelled at for that. But we will gonna be watching out Drizzy, Eracity, Ar Stallion, and Smoke. I believe Drizzy here will be the cap of this team, so it's mostly on him right now to go ahead and see how that will work out. As it will be Team Red versus Team Blue, basically. As we're going to go ahead and be starting off on Apocalypse uh, Hardpoint. And to be honest here, we're going to be seeing a lot of raid. As map number two for search is going to be raid. Control will be raid. And then the map for Hardpoint, if we get to it, will be raid. And then Moscow, search and destroy at, for a map five. So besides that, I believe we are all set to go. I'm just going to double check with the players. And once both, I see both teams have said that they are good to go and we can start, we will go ahead and launch the game. As <laughs> I'm seeing quite a few NXG fans here. Uh, uh, quite a few. In fact, we also had uh, the actual Nexus gaming account here. Okay, so both teams are ready. Just sorry, I had to make sure, but let's go ahead and get right into this map number one. Yes, this is definitely something I've been waiting for. I'm happy I was able to actually fix everything here. Because if I didn't, it would suck. Wait, what? I never noticed. Okay, sorry guys, I noticed something weird about Get Good Host. Their boss can do something I didn't know it would do. But, game's about to start. The bot's having a bit of trigger finger here. There we go. So, I'm seeing the countdown, and it's going to go ahead and be good. Let's get into this one, as we will have Apocalypse CDL Hardpoint. Let's switch right on over to the game stream, because you guys don't care about the roster anymore. As it is time to get the stadium rumbling. Well, more like <laughs> this entire area running. But, let's get right on into this. Boys and girls. Nexus. Seattle Sage. Who will come out on top? It seems like a lot of people are saying Nexus. But, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of that is, um, you know, bias. So, we'll just have to wait and see. As we're still waiting for it to start up. But, that's all good with us. Yes, here we go. Finally going to start seeing some movement here. Let's go ahead and set up the camera right up here for this P1 Hill. As it will be Seattle with a great spawns here. 
I uh, do not mind the map count. That is wrong. My fault. But instantly, Sage, they're going to open up the kills here. A stallion. He's trying to contest it down. As Abyss, he's also going to be locking down the P2 side. Stallion able to find one, but he's going to get dreaded out. And just like that, two here for the Sage team. And make that three. It's all up to Drizzy, the team captain, who is actually making a push for the spawns, but they do not have it quite yet. The is going to come in, but Drizzy from the back, he's going to find one. Stallion is also going to find a one as well. He's going to be a bit sad. Oh, what a kill from Drizzy. That's right now, Nexus on this hill, and I believe they were able to take control of spawns. As Nexus going to take the lead. First lead change of the half. Tyler making a push here, but going to be found here by... Eracity. Meanwhile. Just watching on Eracity trying to get the push. Able to find Niplove. But Abyss trying to find some opening price here. SPG making a push on in. He's going to get control of the hill, but not long. He's going to find crack. Abyss on it, but he's going to also fall. Just like that. No one is able to get on top of the hill, but somehow, some way, Seattle has taken a little bit of control here. Niplove overestimated that gunfight. It's going to lose that one. Abyss and the rest of the Sage team getting the spawns here as Nexus. They're trying to get set up for the P3. Yet another lead change, though, with Sage holding this one down. Drizzy, he's very weak, and oh, Abyss! Making the last second peek to find a kill. Just like that. We're going to go and be watching out of smoke. Making a push here towards the P3. As two there. From the side of the next. Just to find a kill. Rassity on a two kill streak. Make that three. As he's trying to grow up his streak. Trying to see if he can find some artillery. That will be useful for the P4. But no it will not be. He will fall. Stallion. He's going to be on top of the hill here. While the rest of this team is trying to make a push of this. He's going Trolling down the P1 side, trying to make a push on. He's going to get lit up here a little bit. The Stallion just playing his life on Hill. He's able to find the kill. This is a substitute player here. Going 9 and 5. He is making a statement here today. Saying, I need to get off of the bench. What a play. And so far, Nexus... Just having major control of Sage. Trying to get the pushers through the back end. And there we go. Rassity, he's going to fall. Sage getting the remainder of the points here. But not enough to get a lead change. But it will get them close. Spawns are going to go the way of Sage now. But look at this number five, Drizzy. He's going to go ahead and get the pushers through the back end. He's going to find Niplo because of it. And just like that, that should actually go to give Seattle the, uh, losing the spawns. All of Seattle are dead. And they lost their spawns. They're spawning P2. They're having to push their broken. This is not what they are wanting in this current time. As Tyler trying to make a good peek here. Peace Veracity. Not able to find the frag though. SCG making a push here. Sort of back in. But Stallion, he's going to find the kill. Stallion and Veracity both going 12 and 6 here. Being huge factors for the team. And they have a lot of objective time. I mean, what amazing play. Smoke, he's going to start making a push up. He's going to see SVG find the kill. Tyler, though, he's still on the point. He's trying to play his life, but not for long. He's going to fall, but... Ooh, Spawn's coming in through the backside. SVG is trying to lock down this trench. He's going to find Stallion. A bit of some swaying there on the shots, but he's going to find the kill eventually. Meanwhile, Smoke, he's getting the remainder of the time here. Off of this P4 hill. P5 hill. to play now. As we're almost through the first rotation of this, he's holding down the backside truck. But Stallion, he's going to go in the front frag. Stallion, he's going to go and start pushing up this top L. As Drizzy, he should be the first entry. He's going to push up, but he's going to miss his shot. And Tyler able to find the kill, but he's going to be turned out here by Eracity. SVG not able to find the frag, and just like that, Nexus. Good teamwork here to go ahead and take control of the hill. As they are holding this one out, Stallion, he's going to fall to Nipplelove. Uh, yep, Nipplelove, I almost had to rethink that. As... It was an equal out trade. Tyler trying to make a push here through the trenches. He's going to run and get found here by Smoke. Or, no, Stallion. I'm sorry. But Smoke did get the recovery fire. But he's going to fall to Abyss here. Abyss. He's going to also fall. It is just trade galore out here. P5 still in a play. As we are waiting for this up and coming ball. Only a few seconds remain. 
as Tyler, he's going to fall off at a P1 from Smoke. Smoke with a nice frag here from the long range. As he's trying to make a push up here, he's getting hit from behind, but it's not going to matter. Smoke able to find the frag just like that. Nexus, they are taking this one far away. As the first two points were pretty well contested, and then after that, it was all Nexus. All Nexus! Smoke finding the frag. Stallion sitting here on point. Niflov, he's trying to make a push here. Sliding across. As they're going to try pushing on the bottom of P3 near trenches. Trying to see if he can clear out this P1 here. Trying to push it at the team. Going to start to get fired on. And able to find the frag here through the truck. Just barely saw a leg and was able to take that kill. Meanwhile, SVG trying to make a push here towards the P2 spawns. As Sage... This is some really covering magic they're going to need here. After Aracity trying to play his life here a bit more too. As NXG fans, you are in the chat supporting your team. As you know, he's going to start making a push here towards the base. He's going to find the kill. As he's trying to go positive, but nope, he's going to get cut down. Drizzy... Finding the frag off of Niplov, just like that. Next is trying to end this out early. It was very close at the beginning, but NXG finding the frag. But SVG trying to make a push here. All attempts are not working out too well here. Meanwhile, Niplov not able to find the frag. Abyssal, he's going to find the frag and he's going to hop on. But Aracity, he's going to go and find the trade. Just like that, Aracity making a push up here. Towards the broken side, but no, never mind. He's gonna go and retreat back, going and start making a push here towards the P1 hill, towards P3, trying to get their rotation done with. These teams really aren't rotating as early as you would expect them to. They're kind of doing the last minute rotations, and it's not what I'm used to, but hey, if it's working, don't blame me. I mean, Seattle, you may want to fix that a bit, but next are just chilling out here. Veracity, he's gonna kill his own teammate. And Stallion Abyss, he's gonna go and be holding on top of the hill, finding a kill onto Drizzy, trying to lock down these spawns. Is this some covery time for Sage? Trying to find the frag. And honestly, Nexus, I don't think they care too much. A Stallion and a Rhapsody making a push together here. One's gonna fall, both trying to chase down the kill, but Stallion's gonna find it. A few frags being traded out here, but Nexus still coming out on top. The rest of Sage trying to make a push here. As it cannot be won here by NXG, but NXG are not done yet. They still have the rotations to worry about, and that is what the age are worrying about. But they're giving up on P3 Hill, which actually will cost them a lot of points because of that. But NXG, about 14 points away. SVG, NXG, SVG is all tongue twisters. Clearing down a chicken coop, able to find that kill. There we go. So Tyler, he's going to hop on to the point. going to be watching out broken. And now NXG needing to find a good push here. As the next streaks are coming out. The crew is not going to work out here for Eracity. As just like that, it is a Nexus Hill. Smoke, he's going to be watching down. There is spawn entrance. But I don't think they're going to do it. NXG are just kind of messing with them about now. And that should be the end of the map. NXG dominant in it. Just like that. What a game one. NXG showing up to play. Now can we see... Is the Seattle Sage team can answer back here and search and destroy to find out, but it will not be as easy as you would like if you are a Seattle Sage fan. Okay. Sorry about that. Our OBS still being here, but let's go ahead and get into this. As Seattle 
What just happened? I wasn't paying that much attention. They just all started to fall. Niplov, he's able to find one. Trying to play his life out here, eh? Nope, never mind. He did not find the kill on the smoke. It was close, but he was not able to find the frag. So after that, what a dominant play here from NXG. Let's get the first round. And along with that, Smoke, he found three frags here. He's going to watch them on their attacking route. As it seems like it's going to go and be a B push. And the gunfights are coming out. That was a weird transition there, but good frags coming out here so far. Burn this side of NXG. Sage still trying to find their momentum here in this match. So that bomb is just going to get kind of down to that B pretty easily. Stallion, though, he's going to be found here by Tyler. And Nip Love, these two are trying their best here to keep it alive for their team. Tyler is playing down mid. Meanwhile... Niplov able to find that one as they're going to try to double child Drizzy. Drizzy, though, he's watching on his back and he's going to see the, one of them and they're going to know where he is. So they're going to start to make this push up. And oh no, it's all up to Nip. He doesn't have much time. He's able to find the frag. He has to go get the defuse. But Seattle are going to take the second round to tie it up one to one. Amazing gameplay here. It isn't always the best, but it is well. Well, indeed. Good plays here from Niplov. He's definitely helping out his team here on Seattle to keep it alive for them. But it isn't over yet. This chat is just all NXG right now. Good thing this isn't land or else Sage would all be hearing NXG. <laughs> As we're going to be getting into this attacking round here for Sage. Can they find something a bit better than last time? As Drizzy, he's going to hop up to the top. Try laundry and find a bit. And there we go. That's already two down. May Tyler fall in. That was a quick round. NXG. What a round from them! Drizzy just able to find the two there. The transitions are there from this team. <laughs> the chat is also getting hyped up. And what <laughs> amazing plays from these teams. But NXG to keep on coming out dominant. Can they go ahead and finally win their attacking round? Or will we go to see Sage keep on tying it up? If this is the case, it's going to come all the way down to who gets defense on round 11. But Drizzy finding the first frag here. And so far, it's only been Tyler and Niplov able to do anything for their roster. As, yep, there it is. A bit of an SVG instantly falling. Niplov, though, able to find a frag. But he's going to get traded out. Tyler, he's going to be the last one alive. He's going to see one top art. But he's just getting shot from every which way. Next. I'm just going to continue calling NXG. NXG are able to take the round. Just like that. Amazing gameplay from NXG. Trying to shut it out 3-0. Definitely not what you would expect. <laughs> I'm seeing I'm seeing a 6-1 prediction here. And now, I mean, after some of these game uh, well, rounds... I don't blame you. NXG is just being dominant. So, Sage is slowly pushing up mid. No gloves, though. He's going to have the bomb. Tyler able to find the first blood, though. And he's actually going to be in another gunfight against Dalian. He's trying to find that one. But Niplov's going to come in and help. Just like that, Plant should be going down here at A. As Abyss is going to fall, SVG is trying to find the trade, but he's just going to miss his shots. It's down to a 2v2, but Plant will be down. Finally, Sage able to actually get a Plant. 
And I think this is the longest uh, sage attacking round we've had in a while. It's Nip Love. Playing down the back side. He's gonna see one. Find the kill on the smoke! What was that? Aracity is all up to him and Tyler. As Aracity finally getting his health back up, but only a few seconds remain. Less than 10 seconds to defuse. A lot less now. And Tyler's gonna fall. Will he get the defuse in time? Oh, he possibly could have had it, but he just gave up. He ran away, and that's gonna be a Sage round win. Rassity just couldn't do it in time. I think he could have actually gone that if you really pay attention to that. I'm pretty sure he could have gone that defuse. But it is what it is. He did what he could. And just like that, <laughs> honestly, if Nibelov and Tyler die, that's drowned. Abyss and SVG, they aren't really doing anything for their team right now. And I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, but... It isn't going as well as he would want it to go. And Stallion, he's going to be the one with the bomb here. So far, everyone from NXG going positive. Stallion just kind of taking it slow, though. He's playing the objective player, but... Oh, Abyss finding a kill along with Sniplove. Just like that, that's two down. It's up to Drizzy and Stallion, but these two can definitely do it. NXG's had dominant moments, and Stallion, right when I switch off of him, finds a frag. Drizzy is going to get in a gunfight. He's going to lose. So Stallion, it's up to him to find the ace. Will we find our first ace in CEL? It's going to be the fragnate, but it's not going to find the kill. Stallion's running out of things he can do here. I think Sage are just going to play it this as well as they can but i mean if they get too aggressive and only solo child they could lose and tyler's gonna go in the ball Nipplo's gonna fall svg it's up to him he's gonna know where stallion is he's gonna try to play slow oh did stallion see him no he didn't svg trying not to be too loud here and he knows where he's going or at least I think he does. Stallion just gonna go for the plant. Can SVG find the frag? He can! SVG with the round! Tying it up! 3-3! Three to three. Sage! Able to take the round win. But in the end, I don't know what that was from Sage. Like I said, they started pushing solo, and that's where they really messed up. Honestly, you're on defense. I would just say, take your time. He has nothing he can do. But it isn't over until it's over. It is tied 3-3. Three to three. Sage able to win two rounds in a row. Can they continue their streak? Or did I just give them caster scores? Most likely the second part, right? <laughs> Why they give him so many one v ones? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It defensive wise, he should not be doing one v one. But Drizzy, he should be making his push here. Oh, actually, I thought he's gonna be pushing up cash, but he's gonna instead be pushing up court. But that means the bomb's gonna go down. Tyler able to find the frag, but Abyss, he just ran out there and he's gonna fall. But now it's all up to Smoke. Tyler's watching out mid side. Smoke, he's gonna be pushing inside of his kitchen. Tyler's just laying down there. I think Tyler can really find him here if it comes down to it. Tyler with a frag! Sage are riding an SND high! What is this? They went from going downhill all the way to winning three rounds in a row to take the lead four to three. What is going on? NXG are just finding a lot of frags, but Sage. They're starting to play the bit smarter. They're starting to decide, okay, let's play off a of Tyler and Niplove. Let's use Abyss and SVG just as whatever. See what happens. And I mean, I guess it's working. How long can it work? So, Stallion, it, it seems like he's just going to be watching on his speed side, thinking someone may be in Tiki. He's just going to start making a run. Tyler, he's going to be playing down cash. But, oh, no. Arrested found the kill through mid. That's going to make him rotate. Stallion getting the uh, is done. And just like that, it's all up to Abyss. And this is not looking very winnable. NXG finds a bomb plant. 
That's Abyss. Trying to make a rotation here through the back side of the court. And so it should be tied up here. The the chances of winning this are very slim here for Abyss. He's gonna free fire. Oh no, he gave away his position doing that. Stallion's just trying to buy himself some time, but he's gonna find smoke. Not checked behind him. He's gonna fall. NXG are gonna go and take the round. So GA wise, uh, for stuns, I think we'd have to check the R GAs. If we don't have it in there, then we're gonna allow them to use it. If we do, then I I don't know. We may need to see NXG. Or who was it on defense? Okay, so yeah, NXG may have to forfeit. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and actually have to fact check that. I don't know if it's a G A N R book. If not, then that's on us, and I'm sorry about that. But Niplov finding a lot of hits here. Not finding the kills, but he is finding the damage. But the heals keep on coming up, and it's not working out too well. Tech Master is going to come in, though, so they still know he's there. They know he isn't rotating off. It's still only him, though. They are trying their best to keep him alive. As it's been him versus Stalin for the longest time. And, oh, the teamwork is in there, but SVG coming in from the back. Stallion is still playing SVG. You need to find the frag. You had the pick. He didn't find the trade, and it may actually end very badly here for him. As they still have to plant the bomb or find this kill. As Abyss trying to make the push down. Go, oh, it's SVG. SVG finds the frag! Five to four. Sage taking back the lead. Wow! As I'm still trying to figure this out. So stun grenades are actually forfeit. No, 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 okay. They are banned in pro uh, PA, so no matter what, NXG are gonna have to forfeit this round but we will gonna let it play out we will be go ahead and dm their captain letting them know about this done so sage will be winning the map by forfeit but it seems like no matter what they would have won the map six to four Unless they throw this one out. Erasity able to find one. Does he win these? No, he does not. Sage are going to go ahead. And take that one. Tie it up. One to one. No matter what. Stunts or not, they win the map. Okay, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and get right on into this control matchup. Yet again, raid. As I said before, match three, match two, match three, match four are all raid. But just like that, <laughs> NXG just finding the frags here. I think the respawns are definitely an NXG strong suit. SH are trying to figure out what to do here. Drizzy trying to find some frags here, but oh, he got lit up there. He almost fell. But trade started actually finally starting to come in. And Sage weren't too far from tying up the life there. SVG, he's going to be on top of this. b site trying to cap it as long as he can. Smoke, though, he's going to contest him from cash. Same with Erasity. Erasity, oh, he's going to find the kill. SVG, he just he freaked out there a bit. I, I don't know what that was, but just like that. Stallion and Erasity, they're being really good practice here for this NXG team. NXG trying to hold on. Finding Nip, uh, Nip Love. I, that is still a weird name. As we're gonna go ahead, continue watching this one. So double check. 
Okay, sorry, just wanted to double check to make sure all players are running stuns. And making sure that all GAs are followed after all this mayhem we had. But yep, all GAs are being followed here. Eracity, he's on a five killing spree though. If I were him, I'd play my life to hang it on till the next round. Try saving it. Get yourself some, some artillery. You deserve it, my guy. But Tyler, he's going to find it too. As Tyler's trying to find another. He's going to find Sally and Eracity. He's going to come in front of that. He's going to find six. He's going to find seven. He's not able to find the ace. SVG is going to find the frag there. But ace actually almost captured. If Niflo can just play his life a little longer. No, he's going to fall. They had it there. But Tyler, he's going to hop on top of B. As the rest of his team's coming on here too. What to do if you are this team here as SVG. Hopping on with his team. NXP though, they're coming in. But there we go, Rassity, he's just going to call it in now. I think he's just confident on getting it again. And there we go, that's going to run down the timer. No one's going to be able to hop on. And NXG are going to able to hold this one. Yes, okay, so nothing, don't worry, there are no stuns, I double-checked with them, they, they messed up, both teams, I think, messed up on that, from what I'm hearing, but we only saw NXG use it, so we can't really do anything about Sage, because we didn't notice that, but in the meantime, yes, all GAs are being followed, we double-checked, and we just wanted to make sure it, it happens sometimes, reminding you guys, these aren't professional players, these are amateur players, you can't expect them to be at their... At, acting like professionals and knowing instantly to do something it happens but push is just coming in here from nxg they're getting some good beat control but abyss he's just throwing up top gas he's gonna push out though and he's gonna get way too heavy there and fall tyler's trying to come in and help but no one from sage are really finding some good practice but right when i take that tyler he's able to find one oh he almost got the head of smoke but he's gonna miss yeah, Smoke, he's gonna hop on top of this point. B has really good progress here. As Niplup's gonna come in from behind. I think he's just gonna try to find him off of the trades, but he's gonna fall. And now, SVG sitting here trying to see if he can find some sort of trade. But wait, no, actually, they got taken off of B. I thought they still had it, but Stallion's gonna hop on now, and now they have B. I am sorry. I am a terrible caster. I need to get back into casting a bit more. As, just like that. Niplup chilling out here near Art. He was very dominant here in the search and destroy last map. But respawns are just really heavy on Nexus because they can really do some good damage here. As Drizzy, he's going to go and fall here. Eracity, he's going to miss some... Uh, he's going to go and find the trade. And just like that, sure that the majority of Sage down. Abyss, he's the last one up. As the rest of his team is slowly coming back here, trying to find their ways. But one thing I am noticing is that they are overrunning. They keep on running out so far that they are getting caught. And just like that, NXG slowly taking back this control. They still have the lives. I think they're more playing PDM more than objective right now. They still have a minute on the clock. Tyler, he's going to find the trade. Nipple, he's going to find a trade. And all up to Rassity, he's the last one alive. That's rest are responding. But he is just doing God's work in here. What a man. 19 and 5. Least amount of deaths, most kills. I mean, amazing. <laughs> As we're gonna go ahead and be watching down Eracity. Making down this push. Here's through the back end. So far, nothing being found. Abyss. Chilling out here on the backside. Just gonna miss him. Gonna see Eracity. He's gonna miss! He overjumped! And Eracity are winning the gunfights. Five kill streak, 22 and 5. This man is going wild. Talk about a different breed, Abyss. I think you're going to fall into his trap. You will. Not checking corners. Not playing it safe. NXG are going to go up 2-0 here in the control. Their respawn is amazing. And Eracity, you are on fire. What a play. Play like that, and we will see you guys in the playoffs. What shocks me more is... Okay, that's why.
nicely done from Abyss. He actually got stacked up there. You, yeah, Cold War, you can't stack people. It, it doesn't work like it does in Modern Warfare. But, I was about to say, I was shocked that Sage even got play of the game with Veracity out here. The menace to society. That is his name in CEO. Veracity, the menace. And oh, he got the stick! And he found the frag! He just cleared out mid by himself! I mean, Smoke was there to support him, but he didn't have to do anything! What is this? You madman! Abyss! Up top of Master, I don't even think he saw Smoke. I think it's a nade that gave him away, but Tyler's gonna find the frag, and just like that, B's actually clear. They can push on, but they're just not going to. The respawn's coming through, and that actually gave a lot of time for NXT to make this push here, but they're not seeing him here. So it seems like it's just gonna kind of keep control of mid, thinking that's what's good for him. Ratsity, he's kind of having a control of this spawn point. He's on a 10 kill streak. I think he just kind of knows he needs to use his streaks at some point. He's gonna find uh, one, but he's instantly gonna fall. And just like that, you just set him up to get more streaks. He's gonna most likely be using these streaks now for fun because he feels like he can get them again. That is his third streak this map. I'm sorry, I can't get over this. That's Niplove able to find one, able to get traded out too. Meanwhile, Tyler trying to make a push here, but NXG are just shutting him out. Stallion with a T-Mag. And Aracity calling in the streaks. As artillery is coming out, last push is not gonna work. Here comes the crew. A is being controlled. And there goes their last cruise missile. What a respawn team, NXG. They can be very scary. And if I am any other team here, you are re-watching this VOD, getting ready. If you play NXG next, you are trembling in your pants. Ladies and gentlemen, map number four, Raid Hardpoint. And this time, Sage aren't starting off on the good side. These respawns haven't been going out really well for them. So hopefully they can find some better situation here. But Raz is actually going to be the first to fall off of NXT while the rest of the team is just finding some easy frags. And that's a team wipe already. But SVG and Tyler right on back. SVG finds Drizzy after a bit of a mess up there, and they're gonna continue to gain this lead. They need to get as big of an early lead as they can, because if it's anything like that first, map is not gonna go too well for them. I, I can promise you guys that much. But, so far they're doing their best here. And they are still slowly watching their players fall one after another. Tyler, he's gonna be holding down laundry, and I think they're still trying to lock down spawns. They're gonna see Stallion, he's gonna see Drizzy! Oh, Tyler missed! But Abyss, or sorry, Niplov, he's going to find the trade as the rest of this NXG team getting the remainder of the time. Rotation's going to come in here from Sage. Sage, can they force it to a map five? I hope so. As Stallion, he's going to break into the point. Tyler's going to find the frag, but oh no, NXG is everywhere. You can't escape them as they're going to hold down their spawns. Smoke. He's definitely trying to play as their anchor player. And not able to do enough. He's just going to be found out by Abyss. I don't know what that play was. But we will accept an Abyss. He's going to go and fall there. SVG, he's going to go and start making a push. Your what? I am super confused. Uh, okay, so it said stick, but he didn't. I don't even know. Anyways. <laughs> Remainder of the time going to NXT and rotation going to them so far. Rassity, he's holding this one down very well, but Smoke, he's going to fall. It's up to him versus SVG. SVG still trying to heal, and the rest of his team is nowhere to be found. As he's just getting overwhelmed here. Drizzy on a five-kill streak. How far can he go? He's going to see Tyler. Tyler's going to shut him down. Nicely done here from Tyler. As that is what they need. Nates are coming through. And Tyler... Weird of the Sage team, but not able to find the frags he needs. And I don't really know. Jay-Z trying to just check out everything we can. 
but not finding really anything as the teammates are stealing it all. So far, it's been Drizzy and Erasity, which is different. Respawn so far has been Stallion and Erasity popping off. But Drizzy, he, he's like, no, screw this, I'm the captain, it's my turn. SVG, though, he's going to find the frag onto Erasity. And they're going to go and start locking down what I like to call the money hill. As if you have a good setup on here, you will last. But not if you get gunned out like that by Smoke. But Smoke's going to get right out here and, oh, SVG. Is he just getting hyped up? I think so. I don't even know. Does he just know he's on the spotlight here? Because <laughs> that is some weird movement there. But he's able to find one frag there. He's going to jump around. Find smoke. What is going on, SVG? He went from not being able to get too many frags to just popping off. And SVG, this is what I am talking about. If you can lock down this hill, it is a money hill. That's SVG, two kills away from getting his streaks. I think they're kind of coming to that realization. So they're just going to get set up here near mid. Hoping they can win the gunfight there. As two are going to fall there. SVG trying to make a push himself. But you got to play this carefully. If you are at Sage, you want him to get those streaks. That is needed for you at this point. As they've been out fragging you for the longest time. So SVG trying to play it safe. But he may fall to Stallion. Oh, Stallion's going to line him up a little bit here. He's just laying down. SVG finds the kill. I'm sorry. I really want Sage to finally find their first streaks here. Can it be? Can it be? No! Drizzy's gonna shut him down. He was right there. The taste of victory for the first streak for Sage was right there. It's just not gonna be. And SVG, he wants revenge, but oh, what was that? Was that an auto mantle? I think it was. Oh, <laughs> SVG doesn't take those. Oh, I love that comment. <laughs> As we're going to be watching down NXG. Not SVG, NXG. Holding down this point here. Niplove, he is not having a good time on the respawns. I think that's definitely where Sage is falling right now. He hasn't been able to really do much. I mean, he has the most objective time, but these respawns haven't gone well for him at all. And that just really secured NXG's elite again. Now they're also getting time on P1. This is what they what <laughs> Sage were actually able to get a lot of points off of P1 before, but if NXG holds this down, this isn't gonna go well. As I mean, NXG just really throwing this one through the roof. And it always seems that no matter how hard Sage is trying, they need to work on the response. Aracity though, he's still playing down top laundry. Stallion, he's gonna go and find the frag there. That's actually four for him. He's working on his own streaks. He's like, I'll do, I'll pick up where SVG left off. He has five, he has six. Can he find Abyss? Oh no, his team's gonna take it from him. He's trying to find his artillery, but he just can't find the frag. He's trying so hard, but he's gonna find it. He did something that SVG couldn't. As I do sympathize for SVG, but there we go. SVG's got, he got a bit jealous there. He's going to go and find the frag. He's going to go and be the first one to push onto this new hill, but he's going to instantly fall. As two are on top of this hill, make that three for NXG. Smoke, he's going to be locking down the spawns, checking down the pool side. Not seeing anyone's quite so far. It's going to be a mid push for the most part, but ooh, that was just bad there for them. I think this is the first time we honestly saw SVG kind of wake up here. That huge streak really set him up, but he's now going negative. The only one that was going positive here for this team. Sage not able to find anything. Veracity, he's on a four kill streak. Trying to make that grow even bigger. Can we see it yet? Some more streaks. As these streaks are going to be really good to lock down this up and coming basketball court hill. If it comes down to it. As Sage are now running up behind. They know this. The call outs are just really good here. I mean, NXG, you can just tell by watching them that they know what is going on. And they are just relaying information left and right. But right now, it seems like NXG are just going to shut this out. They're going to go and call in their first artillery. And Aracity, he still has his. But they are gaining the points here. But, oh, wait, they actually got cleared off here by Tyler and Niplov. And now SVG is going to be on top of it. But watch your back, watch your back. Aracity, the menace is here, and that is why the menace to CEO Aracity coming in, finding Tyler. 
trying to go and find this next one on to SVG. He's going to clear the point. Give it to Eracity. He lost the... They're just feeding him. A 4 kill tree. Is he going to get another artillery? They can no longer win off of this point. Sage are going to take it back, SVG. He's getting annoyed here. He's like, wake it up, Sage. What Eracity is amazing. <laughs> NX be nuts indeed. This basketball court is being locked down so far. It is actually no, it's going back and forth, but now NXG are gonna go and take it back. And just like that, they should be able to win off of this. 10 seconds remain. As they're gonna start slowly just start to see pushes on. Stallion he's gonna finally fall. Tyler's not able to do anything. It's all up to SVG. He's way too far. That is game, everybody. NXG! What amazing play. Pelican coming out with the NXG versus 7th region finals. But I, I don't know. We'll have to wait, Pelican. I mean, there are still, still some other teams. I know that Lunar Academy, they're pretty good. Um, let me see. What other teams do, should we start to call out here? Okay. Alrighty then, guys. So we are here with Smoke here from Nexus or NXG because I cannot say their team name. I suck at it. Nexus. <laughs> you know I'm never going to get that right. But anyways, <laughs> how are you feeling after the win? Oh, feeling pretty good. Team's hyped. So um, so we were talking a bit about the every individual player. And for you, so as we could, as obviously we could tell, you were playing a bit more of the anchor role as AR. Were there any moments to where you were kind of taking off your groove there at all? Uh, so, I mean, I've never really played AR in any Call of Duty. Uh, I just started playing AR about a week and a half ago. So this is my first, you know, real time playing in a high-level gameplay kind of thing with AR, trying to get used to it. I'm usually a running gun kind of guy. But we have RCD, we have Drizzy, we have Stallion. So, I mean, you don't really need that. So, I just do my job, sit back, do what I need to do, and they do the rest. I mean, I mean that is what you just really need. I mean, that wasn't bad gameplay from you for only being new to AR. Uh, one thing I definitely want to go over with you, though, is a bit more of your struggle in the response. I noticed that at times you were having trouble. For example, on the P2 hill, you were holding down the tree, and you just weren't able to win the gunfight against the Biz. Are you going to try to just work on that or, I mean, what's really going through your mind about that situation? I mean, yeah, you know, i got to work on the shot a little bit more. Like I said, new to AR, but all shout outs to Biz. He is a, he's a nice AR player right there. Yeah, and so one thing we also noticed is we had to just, this is less about you, more about your teammate Eracity. And I don't know if he noticed this, but I'm pretty sure, he, uh, according to the chat and, you know, what we saw, he is just a, a god at this game. And whenever it came to it, we had to give him the nickname, Eracity the Menace. Was it just more or less you guys just running straight off of Eracity and running off of his hide there on map four? Uh, I mean, he does that 24-7. That's nothing new to him, you know. He drops 40, 50, 60 bomb games. Every every single time, you know, like that's how he is, and so we just build off his energy all the time like that. Uh, he's all around an amazing player and MVP 2021. Here we come. Oh, okay. So, thank you for coming in here. I mean, we appreciate it, and we can't wait to see you again. So, thank you for coming out. All right, have a good one. You too.